welcome to another edition of D DTLT Today. Uh, I am by myself in the office today. Actually, Andy was with me a little bit earlier, and he had to run out for some family, not an emergency. I think his sister is coming down. Uh, Martha is out of the office today. Jim is actually speaking live at a conference right now, and he may decide to actually tune in. Uh, as we do every day, the chat's open if people want to talk during the broadcast, but otherwise I'm just going to talk about some things that are interesting to me right now. One thing that I found yesterday was this thing called Amazon Elastic Computing. Have you ever heard of this? It's called EC2. Uh, and the, the way this came about was because we were looking at upgrading a media server and we had looked at some software options. Right now we have a media server at Mary Washington where people have to use FTP to upload their videos and it goes on this media server and then they get a link to that file and that's about it. It doesn't do any uh, transcoding, it doesn't change formats for them, it doesn't give them embed codes or anything like that, that's it. It just gives them a link to their file. And so we looked at something called Wowza and Wowza is actually what's driving this live stream right now because I wanted to play around with that software. Um, and how typical is it the case where you find a piece of software that's free or maybe it, it's a really expensive piece of software but you don't really know whether it's going to work or not until you've actually got it up and running and that requires getting the server, getting your server people to install the software and get all that working. Well that's a pain in the ass. So what we found was this thing called Amazon Elastic Computing and this is perfect for educators. Now you're probably going to need your IT person to help you out a little bit with this uh, but I was able to figure it out yesterday and he here's what the service is. It's all in the cloud so you've heard this term let's send the stuff to the cloud, go to the cloud to do things. Well the cloud is just the internet okay it's this network so you're connecting to a remote location where they've got servers running all of this stuff. But the thing about it is, whereas this $1,000 piece of live streaming software, we would normally have to buy our own server. How much memory do we need? How much hard drive space? That's all taken care of for me. I basically go on Amazon and I say, I want to use this piece of software. You set up a, a computer. It's really a virtual machine. It's not even an actual hardware device. And then launch it. And it's done and then I can connect to that, I can set up my stream, I've got an IP address and I can stream. That's why we were able to switch from Justin TV to this new product which basically it costs like cents. That's the beautiful thing about it is it's really not all that expensive. I'll show you the pricing a little bit later uh, but it allows me to get past Justin TV, Ustream, get away from all those ads and just stream live content directly to you which is really really cool. What's great about educators is that there are a lot of instances on Amazon Amazon of WordPress, of Moodle, of all these different PHP programs and these instances, these virtual machines are already set up for you. You just go on, you say turn it on and you've got a server with a remote install of this program on there and you can play around with it. Now normally this costs a bit of money. It's not a lot of money and I'll look at the pricing again and show you some of that but Amazon actually has this program right now where when you sign up you get a year of free usage for certain things. Now the media server software that we're using was not included in that so we are paying a little bit for it to be able to do stuff like this but for Moodle, for WordPress and a lot of these other free programs there are free community built instances that you can run. What this means for you is that you can have a hosted install of WordPress but you know how usually if you go to wordpress.com and do this it's very user friendly but you can install your own themes you can install your own plugins and really get in there and play around with it because it's not your server this one is in a way you, for an entire year you get complete access to everything that you want to do with it and again it might take an IT person to really get into the nuts and bolts of it uh, but I'm going to show you a little bit here just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about
posting plan, what it's usually like is, you know, they give you this, this, that, and that, but it's like $120 a year, or maybe it's $200 a year for shared hosting. If you wanted a virtual private server, it's going to cost a whole lot more, right? It's going to cost somewhere upwards of $80 to $150 a month, or even more than that, depending on what kind of things you're wanting out of your virtual private server. With Amazon, they've broken it out and said, do you need storage space? All right, you can pay for the storage space, but just the stuff that you're using you know if you're just going to use a couple gigs just pay for that if you're not going to be having a lot of bandwidth but you do have very processor intensive programs that need to run then you can do that so it's it's confusing in a way but at the same time it makes a lot more sense because you're only paying for what you need and I kind of like that because even though I don't really know right now what this whole live streaming thing is costing us I know it's a lot cheaper than some of the paid versions of live stream and Ustream which is awesome right so this is Amazon EC2. Let me jump back here to Bitnami and just show you some of the other programs they've got available. They've got several different wiki clients, DocuWiki, MediaWiki, Track, uh, Version Control with Subversion. So some of these you may have heard of and some of them you haven't. But this is a beautiful thing for educators. So that's what's been going on with me. Um, it doesn't look like anybody's in the chat today. Usually we've got a lot of people watching the show, but there's not a lot of people in the chat. Um, but anyway, so a few things that we changed about DTLT today. I'm going to shut this for a minute and talk to you all. Uh, we switched away from Justin TV. That was a big move. That was something that we've wanted to do for the longest time. But uh, the state of streaming online is just so difficult because the free ones cost so much for the p premium version. Justin TV actually doesn't offer a premium version for people who are producing the content. They offer users the ability to pay to remove ads. And it's like a monthly fee of 10 or $15, something like that. But that's on a per user basis. Everybody who was watching us would have to pay for that. And that's not what we want, obviously. Live stream and use stream are somewhere upwards of $350 a month to get the ads off of it. With this, like I said, I think I'm probably paying 25 cents a day for us to be able to stream live and come to you with no ads or anything like that. And it works perfectly. Um, we've got an integrated chat up top here, and that's an IRC chat. So we switched away completely. Justin TV had it integrated. It was also an IRC chat, and it was sort of integrated with their system. But with this, we basically embed it in the website. It's an IRC channel. You can use any IRC channel on an iPad, and I'll be putting out information on that. Uh, but it's basically a free service. It's got an ad on the top of the web chat that you can see uh, for that purpose. But for chatting with anything, I could connect on my iPad and pull up the IRC chat and follow along uh, with what the stream's happening. So uh, some really cool things happening and some uh, really exciting things. I've been very impressed with this Wowza Media server. I think it's probably something that Mary Washington's going to look at uh, because it allows you to stream out uh, to iPhones, iPads, um, iOS devices. It allows you to stream online with the Flash. It will encode videos that you upload to it into several different formats, and it does all of that. Uh, so it's a really, really nice option. Um, one quick thing, I've always put out the call. I'm going to put it out again. I've got a couple volunteers. I've got some exciting interviews coming up really soon. Uh, I'll just I'll name a few off. All right. So on Monday, I'm going to be interviewing the CEO and co-founder of Learning Catalytics. LearningCatalytics.com is their website. And if you want to go there and check it out, it's a program that Eric Mazur started um, out at Harvard. 
and it's basically the uh, software that allows you to poll your students and then based on that polling it can group your students and classify them and say hey go go turn to your right and talk to this person because he understands the concept better than you do and then you come back and you can poll them again and it keeps track of all that analytical data uh, so it's a really cool piece of software but I'm, I'm gonna let um, Brian talk about that a little bit more. So Brian Lukov is coming on Monday via Skype to interview, to be interviewed by us. Um, on Friday of next week, we're going to be talking to Curtis Grimlaw, and he's out of the um, academic relations department that we've mentioned earlier. We get to use this kit from them, and he's been working uh, on a team with a team of people uh, to convert our main content management system at Mary Washington to WordPress, which is what UMW Blogs runs on. And we're going to talk to him a little bit about that. So that's a few things coming up. I've got, a, uh, I've got a few other feelers out there for people. If you're doing something cool that we should know about, by all means, please get in touch with us. Hit us up on Twitter. I'm Timmy Boy with four M's on Twitter. DTLT Today is on Twitter as well. And just let us know what you want to talk about. And we would love to talk to you. Everybody's doing really interesting things. And the point of DTLT Today is that we want to promote that stuff. We want to show it off and tell people about it. So let us know what's going on in your life. Until next time, I'm Tim Owens, and this is DTLT Today. Thanks for watching.